Hi, I'm Effin Gonzalez, a physiotherapist at Hansberger Physio Plus. If you're a student with a concussion injury, or the parent of one, then let my 15 years of concussion management experience help you navigate three of the most common challenges with returning to learn after concussion. A concussion injury can be very emotional, confusing, and challenging, as unlike other injuries, there is no definitive timeline to recovery. Research does show that almost 80% recover in one month, but that month can be challenging if not managed effectively. The first challenge with returning to learn is to determine the intensity to return. This may be part-time, full-time, or not at all. The return may start initially with homework at home to see the effects on symptoms before actually attending any classes. School boards have great policies about returning to learn, but not all schools and not all teachers are equally proficient in managing the return to learn. As a parent, you need to sit down with the guidance department and or the teachers to lay out a plan of action. Don't leave it up to the school as their plan might not match up with your students' needs. The more clear and concise the plan, the easier for everyone to follow, especially for the student with the concussion injury. It is also important to recognize that the plan needs to be flexible. For a student with a concussion injury, the second challenge is recognizing that some of the concussion symptoms may need special accommodations for returning to school. Difficulty with lights or loud noise may require the use of sunglasses or earplugs. For those with memory issues, the use of a written agenda or phone calendar can help with recall and organization. Reading may be difficult as well, either due to concentration issues or challenges with the visual system. Some symptoms may even make going back to school in the early stages damaging to the recovery process. The third challenge is understanding that each student is unique in their recovery. Research shows that social interaction is more important to teenage girls versus boys, so alternate social plans need to be incorporated if returning to class is not possible at this time. Anxiety and stress can be increased for those students concerned about falling behind in their academic work or being unable to complete tests and exams. For this reason, helping elementary school students is usually easier than high school or university students. Student athletes have the increased stress of also not being able to participate in their sport. This sport's participation is often how they describe themselves, such as I'm a soccer player or I'm a runner. The increased emotional stress can develop the longer the symptoms last, leading to concerns regarding whether they will fully recover. Being able to talk to healthcare professional experienced in managing concussion injuries can help with these challenges. Concussion injuries can pose many challenges for students as they return to learn, but understanding these challenges and having a plan to help them navigate can allow for a smoother and more successful return. Please leave me a comment as to what you think about this post or contact me at effan, E-F-A-N, at hansbergerphysio.com or 905-940-2627 for any comments or specific questions you might have about navigating and managing a concussion injury or the return to learn process. Thank you very much.